this is a very basic example of how to use math points um, to solve a problem involving Chevians. And what mass points are from a very basic standpoint is if you take a segment like AB in this picture and then point E, mass points are a way of thinking about segments as balanced. And so the ratio of AE to EB is 4 to 3. And if you know much about balances, if you think about this as the fulcrum that it's balancing on, then for this to remain balanced, because four and it, this would not remain balanced, if this was a uniform board that was on this fulcrum, it would not be balanced. The only way it would be balanced is if the weight's the same. So what we need to do is we need to apply weight to the ends in propor opposite proportion to the um, length of the boards. And so in this problem, we can assign a mass here of three and a mass here of four. And so that balances it out. And so we're going to use this idea of needing to balance out these segments to solve some problems. So um, to do it, you, your masses have to remain consistent between throughout the problem, unless you do something on splitting masses, which will be covered in a different video. So you just got to be careful about how you choose your masses. I usually try to think about it as multiplying these two together to give you this, which I think helps. And then sometimes I'll pick a mass and then decide later that I don't like that mass. So in this problem, we're trying to find EF to FC and DF to FA. The other thing we do is we assign a value to the fulcrum based on the mass that is added to the outside. So in this example, that would be 7. Okay, so applying mass. If we let A be 3 and B be 4. I did that because I saw this was 4 and this was 2, and so I thought that was going to be um, 4 was going to be plenty, plenty big to, to go with both those. If B has a mass of 4, then 4 times 5 is 20, so to balance upon these, I need to apply a mass of 10 to get 20 on that side. And so now I've applied masses to each one of the vertices. Once I do that, I can find the masses in between. That's going to be 7 and 14. That means that um, this is 17, but that doesn't matter, and you can see that in both directions. But that means that EF over FC, well, their lengths have to be in the opposite proportion to the mass needed on their endpoints to balance it, which is what we've done on this problem. And so that means EF to FC is going to be 10 um, to 7. And then um, DF to FA is going to be 3 to 14. Mass of 3 here, mass of 14 here, so this is in the opposite um, proportion, and so 3 over 14. So that's a very basic and easy way that we apply mass points. 